What is up guys? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Lost in Japan by Shawn Mendes. If this video helped you at all, make sure to subscribe as well as to leave a like on this video. If there are any other songs that you would like me to teach you how to play, make sure to go ahead and leave those in the comments down below. Alright guys, in order to play Lost in Japan, you're going to need a capo on the 3rd fret. You're also going to need a couple of chords. G. A minor. E minor, C, C with the B in the bass, and A minor 7. There is also one chord that is used in the intro and that's about it. Um, that's a B minor with an E in the bass. So all that is is B minor, but you hit this open E string as well. The chords for the intro are G, A minor 7, B minor with an E in the bass, A minor 7, back to G, back to A minor 7, and on B minor with an E in the bass. The chord progression used in the verse is G, A minor, E minor, C. Back to G, A minor, E minor, and then we're gonna end on this little C, C to B, A minor seven. So I'm actually gonna zoom in on my fingers so you can kind of see what's going on there. So that's C, C to B, A minor 7. The strum pattern that I'm using for that part of the song is just down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. And on those little chord switches, I'm just going like this kind of constantly and then switching between the notes. So it's down, down, up, down. I don't want to see anyone in the comments saying I'm not explaining this freaking strum pattern enough. Definitely explaining it in this video. Alrighty, from, <laughs> from there we're going to move right back into our chorus, which is G, A minor, E minor, C, back to G, A minor, E minor, C, C, B, A minor 7. So pretty much the same chord progression. You can also play the same strum pattern or you could just um, strum once or pluck it. So the chorus is, Do you got G tonight? I'm an A minor, da da da, from E minor. Have a C, da 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 G. Cause A minor, off my mind, E minor. All right, so verse two is actually exactly the same as the second verse, so nothing there changes, which is really nice. It keeps things nice and simple for you guys. The second chorus has different lyrics, but musically, it's the same. It's just G, A minor, E minor, C, G, A minor, E minor, C, B, A 
minor 7. And that's it. That's actually pretty much the whole song. Once you get that going, that's all you really play.